Hi, I'm Chef Seamus Mullen. I'm the chef of Tertulia Restaurant here in New York City, and I'm also the author of the book Hero Food. I'm in my friend's kitchen here at Haven's Kitchen, and I'm going to show you guys how to make a really simple spring salad using green and white asparagus grilled on the Breville Smart Grill. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some asparagus that we have peeled. You notice I just tried to peel the outside. I want to keep that nice, beautiful green, and we're going to take our green asparagus and a handful of our white asparagus, which is a little bit more delicate. So we'll add this right onto the grill. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to season it. So I always use kosher salt because it's not too salty. It's got good flavor. You can season from up high like this. Next thing I'm going to do is just a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. And then obviously the most important thing is to use a good olive oil. I use Arbequina olive oil from Spain. And that's going to get this stuff ready to go. We're going to leave it here for about 15 minutes because we really, really want to get that intense charred flavor. We want to make sure that the asparagus is grilled all the way through. So this is my grilled asparagus. It's been marinating for about an hour in some olive oil with a little bit of lemon zest, some crushed garlic, and fresh herbs. So the next thing we need for our salad are some mushrooms. And for me, the best mushrooms in spring are morels. So we're going to use some fresh morel mushrooms and some dried morel mu mushrooms. With the fresh mu mushrooms, it's really important that you, you rinse them a couple of times to get some of the sand out. This is what we end up with, some really beautiful morel mushrooms. No sand, no dirt. The other mushrooms we're going to use are dried morel mushrooms. So I'm going to take these mushrooms, I'm going to go into a little bit of boiling water, so we're going to go right in here, right into the boiling water, and then I'm going to cover them up. The heat doesn't need to be on, I just want them to sit there and steep and get really good flavor. These guys have been steeping for about 10 or 15 minutes, and I'm going to strain them. Look at all that beautiful liquid. I'm going to take my rehydrated dried mushrooms, we're going to go onto the griddle, add them right on. Now I'm going to take my fresh morel mushrooms and we're going to mix these in as well. Notice I'm going dry first. I want the mushrooms to release their own oils to really capture that flavor. Now I'm going to season. So a little bit more kosher salt, just a couple of cracks of fresh pepper, and now I'm going to use my olive oil. And finally, a little bit of butter. Oh, about a teaspoon and a half of butter. Let this saute. This will take about five to seven minutes to get really nice. While that's going, we're going to make the vinaigrette. So for the vinaigrette, I'm going to use our all-in-one blender here. I'm going to take this blender and add our ingredients in. We'll start with this beautiful, flavorful liquid that we have from our dried mushrooms. Then I'm going to add vinegar, need some acidity. I'll add some chopped garlic like that. Then I'm going to add a little bit of uh, Dijon mustard. This helps with both the flavor and it helps to emulsify the vinaigrette. Finally, to balance the sweetness, some honey. Perfect. I'm just going to pulse it and mix it up nicely. Great. Now I'm going to season a little bit of salt, again using kosher salt, fresh pepper. So now we're going to use the olive oil that we used to marinate our grilled asparagus. With the blade running, I'm going to drizzle it in. Perfect. And now we're going to assemble the salad. I've got some bitter greens. These are dandelion greens. I'm going to add in our grilled and marinated asparagus. Okay. And then we'll add in our beautiful mushrooms and then some fresh herbs. We've got tarragon. Nothing wrong with a little bit of basil in there. We're talking springtime. Season it. A little more kosher salt. A little fresh pepper. And then remember our vinaigrette we made, that beautiful mushroom liquid. All right. And we're going to toss it all together. So this stuff right onto our plate. So we're going to add a little bit of cheese. This is some Parmigiano Reggiano. It goes very nicely with it. I've just shaved it with a vegetable peeler. And we are ready. And this is the ensalada de asparragos.